This tutorial presents the basic navigation controls in Silent Hunter 3. The main game interface includes the stations, the officer panel, the message panel, and the basic submarine controls. The leftmost dial represents the speed telegraph. This dial allows easy control of the U-boat speed using preset speed steps. The message panel will give feedback on any order on the dials. Below each dial there is a numeric representation of the current order. The middle dial represents a compass. This dial allows easy control of the U-boat direction. Left clicking on the exterior disc will turn the U-boat in the selected direction. The external disc is a representation of the cardinal points of the compass. The internal disc represents the U-boat position. Below each dial, there is a switch button. For example, pressing the switch under the speed telegraph will bring up the knot meter. This is an alternate speed dial, representing speed in knots. This dial allows finer control on the speed of the submarine. The alternate dial for direction is the rudder dial. This dial will allow finer direction control by setting the rudders left or right for larger or tighter turns. To end a turn when using rudder control, you must set the rudder to zero manually. The rightmost dial represents the depth dial. This dial allows easy control of the U-boat depth up to 25 meters. Note that when the camera is on the bridge view and a dive is ordered, the camera will automatically switch to command room view. Always remember that dive maneuver takes time. Some U-boat types dive faster than others. The alternate dial for depth is a meter for depth navigation. This dial allows you control up to the maximum safe depth of the U-boat. The officers have a number of specific options. For example, the chief engineer gives access to emergency maneuvers like crash dive or blow ballast. Ordering a blow ballast maneuver will bring the U-boat to surface in the fastest way possible. This concludes the basic navigation controls tutorial. This tutorial presents the map navigation in Silent Hunter 3. The black circle icon represents the player's U-boat. To pan the map view, simply move the cursor to the edges of the map. The map view includes a set of map tools. The zoom out, the zoom in, the course plotting, the ruler, the compass, the marker, the eraser. To plot a course for the U-boat, select the course plotting tool and place the waypoints on the map. The U-boat will follow the course automatically. To speed up the long distance travel, use time compression. As soon as a ship is spotted, the time compression automatically drops to a low level. Select a contact on the map to learn details about it. A blue contact icon represents a friendly unit. Once in the objective area, plot a patrolling course to cover it as completely as possible. The navigator officer has a set of navigation assisting options. Some of this information is also represented at each waypoint on the map. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Depth under keel is four, five. 
You can alter a plotted course by selecting waypoints individually and dragging them to a different position. During the nighttime, the map illumination changes to match the red lighting in the U-boat. As soon as you spot an enemy contact, represented by red icons on the map, start the interception procedures. First, measure the distance to the enemy contact to see how far the target is. Then, draw an estimated course of the enemy. Next, mark a probability corridor in which you expect to find the enemy. After that, adjust your course for interception and search along this corridor. To shorten the search time, use time compression. This concludes the map navigation tutorial. Rated T for teen.